Focus. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Okay, it's not morning anymore, but <laughs> I'm I'm still having coffee. But um, uh, yeah, I am like most of the time. So um, here's my. <laughs> Thought we would start off by looking at my Twitter feed. It's a very uh, important Twitter feed. Oops, I made it smaller. Maybe I should be make it bigger, actually. So, <laughs> this person, I thought this was very funny. Like, I wonder how many retweets this got. <laughs> 1,500 retweets. It says, do not retweet my tweet and put your words above it so you get hit off using my tweet. <laughs> like... I was like, this is not how Twitter works. <laughs> that, this is absolutely what we do. <laughs> I'm not going to read any of her other tweets. I just thought this, this was funny. Um, but hey, uh, so this is the thing uh, that I noticed. Like I was watching Pixelated, I think it was. Uh, and he was like, hey look at these eyes and I was like I know those eyes I know I know that that image it's this right <laughs> look it, it's even got like this uh, eye is a little bit shaped like this eye like come on it's it's the same eyes <laughs> I thought, and I was like, what is going on? So, you know, there's, there's this um, very famous song called Memory. And I was like, are they for real hinting at memories? Um, or is it just like all alone in the moonlight? Because it goes like moonlight all alone in the moonlight or something like that. I, I don't remember. Or memories all alone in the mo moonlight. Something. But then uh, this person went like we're, <laughs> we're actually getting a game, uh, a band game pack uh, because this is per apparently a mooncaster. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Like Stratocaster, mooncaster. Yeah, um, would this have been the hint all along? Like the Sims community did not get that. They were waiting for, for uh, werewolves. And so this will just piss everyone off. Even though like many people, including me, would like a game pack with banned abilities because it it should like well it will piss me off anyway because it should have been a part of get famous uh and i don't care that they decided to not make get famous a uh, an expansion it's not my fault uh that's just what they did and th they they absolutely should have made it an expansion and had bands in them how can you name a pack get famous and only include a few ways to get famous not all of them it's it's very weird anyway you want to play some sims <laughs> it is time i'm gonna just put my uh, spreadsheet thingy up on the right place on my screen so that I can keep track of everything. There we go. Where are the goths? The goths, this is. Here they are. Uh, it's slightly less chaotic now that the boys uh, grew up into children. However, <laughs> Cassandra wanted another baby and I was like, okay, you can you can try for baby once. And I'm not locking that in unless you get pregnant. And lo and behold, she got pregnant. So she's having another baby. Like their family tree is kind of upsetting to me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, 
So uh, she has four boys already. So maybe this one will be a girl. Uh, and I'm gonna sort out, out my token system. I don't really know what to do with it because I was like, okay, if you're recorded, then your first child gets your t recorded token and you're left with a played token. And then your second child gets your played token and you're left with an unplayed token. And then your third child will inherit the unplayed token and you're left with a towny token. Uh, and all, all these tokens that I have, like, it, it, I, I don't know because this means she had twins as well, so they both got a, a played token, and then Seth here he got, got an unplayed token. What an unplayed token is means is I'm gonna manage him in a house without actually playing him for all his days. I'm trying the system out, and it's just all of this is just because I don't want to stop myself from having babies but I don't want my neighborhood to get impossible to get through one entire season and we finally got into summer season there's one day left but it's gonna turn into summer real soon I think what are you doing Darren he is carrying this child around <laughs> oh he's going to um, it's going to feed him. What I should have done, I have realized, is remodel this house somehow so that there's like a uh, toddler room on the bottom floor. Because I have realized you want the toddlers near to the kitchen so you can get bottles for, for them and everything. Oh, he wants a grandchild. Should I lock that in? Is someone about to give him a grandchild? Uh, right, Steffi wanted another child, so maybe he will actually get that soon. Um, yeah, and it gives him more aspiration points than selling a masterpiece, which seems to not happen. <laughs> I don't know. My spreadsheet says that Darren is 56 years old and Cassandra is 45, so he's quite quite a bit older than her. Oh, can't you see this child needs a diaper change? Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, Darren? So, is he going to work today at 3 p.m.? Okay, and no one is having a birthday. What? No, I was looking at the wrong column. Uh, well, even in the right column, nobody's having a birthday today. Uh, that's... Or anytime soon, actually. The closest one we have is little Seth here. Oh, and also Lester. And both of them have three days left. Ah, uh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, my spreadsheet says it should be four days left for Lester, but he only has three. I don't know. Okay, well... I don't know. Maybe he has only... He has obviously lived for one day. So maybe it is actually three, not two. Hmm. Well, I'm changing his age to three. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh my God. Cassandra's bank deposit account has gained interest of 10,800. Like they don't have to work. They don't, uh, they do anyway, but they don't have to. Like, they can just live from their, the wealth that they already have. 
Gush, Black, Zoo. Right, okay, so Cornelius here. Is this his room? I can't remember. Oh, I did this. Wait, who's this? <laughs> did he... Oh yeah, this is his room. We, we will have to reclaim it so that the picture updates. Uh, I did this so that I can keep track of whose door is whose. It's very smart. Oh, he's busy. What are you doing? He wants a cleaning skill point. Well, okay, you can study cleaning, I guess. Uh, is this your homework? Oh, it's his homework. He has a lot of wishes for college. What is this? He wants to have a scholarship um, to reach the top of the teen career. Well, okay, that's why you want the cleaning skill point. But you also need to do your homework first because he has the want to go to college so he can uh, do his homework. He also wants to get into private school. I mean, it should it should be possible to get in get them into private school. Invite headmaster. <laughs> didn't you do? Didn't you change the diaper of the child? Come on. Where where are you going with that cup? I mean, I think it's this house. It's not like well structured there's a lot of issues with it okay that's that's right i'm trying to figure out all these ages if they're right I may, may have made a mistake at some point. Um, the local private school headmaster. Yes, we will invite him. Uh, oh, butler. <laughs> Maybe you should clean up a bit. Come on. Uh, it is Wednesday. And the children should be going to school. Aw, little Lester really loves to play the piano. And he wants to get an A, re uh, a plus report card. He's, he's getting there. Did you do your homework? I think you did. Unless the homework is somewhere else. Who knows? Yeah, so, uh, the trial that everyone is talking about. What do you think about it? Some say that, like, I, I hear, like, two opinions around, and it's like, Johnny Depp is going to win, and the other opinion is, or, like, the speculation is, like, nobody's going to win. Uh, what is <laughs> nobody's... Uh, guess is that Amber is going to win her counterclaim. So I don't think that will happen. Uh, are you going to school? What are you doing? Don't stand around drinking. Go to school. Oh my goodness. Hey, Cornelis. This won't do. <laughs> uh, you're going to school too? Yes. This is a big house. Will you have time to make it down the stairs in time? <laughs> We'll see. Okay, so like if anyone is um, not clear on what the the trial like is or anything, it's um, uh, so Amber wrote this op-ed with a headline that she had been sexually abused. And there was a lot of like domestic violence and stuff in it. And so Johnny Depp is suing her for defamation because he says it's not true. And she is 
counter suing him at the same time claiming it is true and uh and he should pay her money or something <laughs> because it's true because he did the things she says uh and so far like i watched in the beginning i watched her opening statement or whatever it's called and i was like well uh it looks like it doesn't look like you're being truthful but I will like keep an open mind I want to believe you but you're really contradicting yourself and if what you're saying is true then it's really unfortunate that you're saying stuff that doesn't add up because you are not helping your own case and that's not good. <laughs> what is this? This is... Don't serve this. Oh my goodness. How long has this been in the oven? <laughs> it's been like a... <laughs> oh my goodness. Why did you kill all these lobsters for nothing? Clean this up. Uh, who's trying to eat this? Don't, don't eat that. Eat something else. My goodness. Um, yeah, so I watched that and I, like, I had only seen Amber Heard at that point and I was like, well, this does look like she's lying. Um, but I, I will, like, look at more evidence and see what, what is going on. And, like, the more I looked, the more things were, like, not in her favor. Uh, so... But you know, you know, like in a broad sense, then we can say like, well, it looks like she was abusing him and uh, we don't like her now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but in a court case, you can't just like, uh, well, this is the good person and this is the bad person. You're going to be like, okay, facts. We need to look at the facts. Uh, and there's like proceedings on how to rule, I think. So there's like questions uh, that the jury is like looking at right now, I think. Uh, this morning I watched a video where they had a question to, to the judge uh, where they were wondering, um, should we... Should we look at the headline of the op-ed or should we look at the whole thing? And I think the judge answered that... Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I was like, what? What is this sound? I have new alerts. <laughs> They're still new to me. <laughs> well, thank you. Anyway, where was I? Um... Oh yeah, so the judge answered, I think, just look at the headline. And the headline is... I think the jury is like supposed to answer, like, did she write it? Did she... Also, hi! <laughs> e EA Gamepad. <laughs> Hello! Did she write it? Or uh, did, she, like, did someone else? Cassandra should have a new haircut. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Like, she's 45 years old, and we could change appearance on her. Possibly, she should have new clothes as well. <laughs> because this. <laughs> Uh, this haircut really, but but she had it when she was an adult, uh, not young adult, an adult in this game. So like the game starts when she's an adult. So like maybe maybe she's just quirky like that, but maybe when she turned forty. <laughs> the good haircut for her should be her mom's haircut. You mean Bella's haircut? And she has like oh that that one. 
Pauline. She has the Nina Caliente haircut. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, I think that Kaylin over here has the same one when she's not at work. I think it's this one, right? Uh, I have a lot of CC also, and all, a lot of it is broken because I didn't do it right. <laughs> she needs to eat first because she was starving to death. There's been a lot of that in my game. Oh, Darren wants to maximize skill, and he has already maximized the creativity skill and he's nowhere near <laughs> maximizing any of the others <laughs> oh no okay maybe you can stop eating and take care of this poor child uh, where is the where did i put his crib <laughs> really where is it where did i put it Oh, oh, yeah, right. I put it next to their bed so that they would wake up if he was sad. That's why. Oh, now you're stuck because the baby is in the way? Well, too bad. <laughs> Can you get out? Sometimes they get stuck between the chairs. It's annoying. Walk away. Oh, no. Hold Seth. I did name Seth after someone. This dude here, Seth Darong. I usually do that. I I uh, when they are expecting children, I look at their the parents' grandchildren and then I name the babies um, after them. I think it's very handy. Oh no. <laughs> I think this is the one. I've been putting this on every sim lately, but uh, it's Lord. it's just so good. It's a conversion from Sims 2. Anyway, I don't think I said what I think will happen in the trial. Right, so the jury is asked like should we look at, at the entire op-ed or just this headline so it means like they are trying to decide if i think it means it they are trying to decide if there was a lie in the in the op-ed and i think like there is no way that you can rule in favor of that incident with the bottle that she said happened because I don't think there's really anything that supported like other than Amber that has been lying throughout the entire trial she has been like calling herself out on lies and it's very unfortunate if she was abused in any way it's really unfortunate that she did that because uh, now there's no way to rule in her favor <laughs> i think so the i i hope the jury or like i think the jury is going to say that that headline is a lie and i hope they are going to say that she published that because she re she didn't retweet it. <laughs> Cassandra should not be in failure anymore. What do you mean? What do you mean failure? She's not in failure. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> she is uh, not really happy. But she wants a kid and her aspiration is meter is going to go up, way up when she has this baby. She is due sometime. Uh, I didn't note when she's due, but she is. Sometime. <laughs> 
You're actually paying attention to the game. I'm just like my head is all over the place. Um, but that is it's fine to be. I hope. <laughs> So what do you think about this uh, trial? What is going to happen with it? Like, uh, is... Is Johnny going to win or is Amber going to lose? <laughs> because those are the only options. Uh, what? You're in a bad mood? What did I ask you to do? I don't remember. Do something fun then. Uh, she can like read a book or something. Uh, read book. What is she interested in? She is. She does not like politics. She likes toys, health, and paranormal. Then you can read a sci-fi book, and you will like it. I hope. I think that's how it works. I don't know, I'm just 12. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about uh, a little bit things that maybe is for older people. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But uh, could you maybe clarify what you meant with, with Cassandra being in failure? Because I didn't understand that. Wait, is someone going to work? What is happening? Also, why is my nose so itchy? It started itching yesterday. And, like, I'm not lying. <laughs> they say your nose itches when you're lying. I'm not sure about that. All right. Cassandra had her aspiration meter very red. Yeah, uh, well, that happens when you don't fulfill any of your wishes. <laughs> so, uh, but it's not in failure, uh, really. It's like neutral. Wait, is someone knocking on the door? No? Oh. Did a piano? What is happening? Are you like tuning the piano? I've never seen this before. I need to take a picture. Oops. Really? I've never seen the butler tune the piano before. Or maybe I've seen it, but I didn't remember it. Can I have a tour of your pleasant view? Um, sure. It's right here. <laughs> and uh, it's not like... How do you mean a tour? What? We can go out? Like, I haven't done much to it. Like, I'm still on generation one. Uh, so there's not much um, changes to to what it is but there has been some things happening uh so here's the goths obviously uh daniel pleasant lives here and he got married to krista krista something <laughs> but she's krista pleasant now uh because i had a new like i thought it was so boring <laughs> To play, to play these uh, romance sim, and we all like, already had Don Lothario living alone. Uh, like he lives, where is he? There, he lives here alone, and it, all he wants to do is like have woohoo with different women, and it's it, it's tedious to play. So I had this rule that if you're on a date with someone that is not a pleasure or romance sim and then or you don't have to be on a date but you need to know what their aspiration is and you f and this <laughs> like uh daniel here he was he had a fear that he would be married to krista 
So then I made her selectable and had her propose. Uh, yes, because how will we have drama? <laughs> so that's what happened there. And yeah, the, that's Don Lothario. He the, not not much have happened to him. Like he was going to marry Cassandra, obviously, but uh, he, she left him. I think I think he left her at the altar and then she married Darren instead. I think it's like coded into the game that Cassandra and, and Darren loves each other. So uh, here we have the Caliente Goth household. Uh, Dina Goth, uh, she married Mortimer. I just renamed the household so that I can do family funds if I wanted to. She has all the dogs. She does not... Stella looks funny. <laughs> she does not have any uh, wish to get married or anything. And here's the Freckles family. I just put them in to have genetic fre freckles in the game. I, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, the Newsome family uh, from my last stream. Um, Ginger lives here. Also... She married Randy in the last stream, and she is pregnant. And her brother Gavin came home from university. He was feeling bad because he left her with all their siblings while he went off to university. But now he's back and is going to help her out a bit. But he's going to get married to Brittany. Brittany Oldie. She was adopted by the Oldies. But they are dead now. <laughs> Over here, I have the retirement home. Um, where I put old people. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna start killing them off at some point. We have, we have to regulate how many old people we have in the game, you see? So that's the plan with that. <laughs> Where's Mary Sue? Uh, where do I have her? Oh, she's not here. She is over in Blue Water Vill Village. Because she actually managed to... She's living here with Malcolm Landgrab. She... Uh, Managed to marry him, but she only wants her dogs to, to reach the top of their career. So <laughs> So that's what she's doing uh, And all of these families that comes with the the Blue Water Village, I am NOT playing them yet. I'm just uh, Letting them be until one of my sims like wishes to be friends with them or something. I'm just, I don't need more sims in my game. The the rotation are too long. Uh, but here's the bad part of Blue Water Village. Is it's the industrial part with the factory and everything. Uh, and here's here are the very bad apartments. They are very small. Uh, Mary should adopt a kid. Uh, maybe she doesn't want to. She has kids already. She has Angela and Lilith. Angela lives here with Dustin and they have just gotten twins. Uh, little Betty and Coral. And we also have the Dreamer family. Now uh, here's the sad bit. <laughs> Dirk was engaged to Lilith and Lilith was living in the goth household with Darren and uh, and Melinda, their daughter. But then a ghost came and scared her to death. Unfortunately, she's, she is now dead. So Dirk remarried Steffi and Steffi wants to have all the children. So she's pregnant and they have Dorian and Dean over here. Uh, yeah, that's that. We also have Gallagher. He's a news on 
person. <laughs> I wish to have a family in your Sims 2 drama. <laughs> well, um, I might be doing that at some point, but at this point, there are just too many families for me to to be adding more, because there's there's quite a lot in my spreadsheet. I have to scroll a bit to see it, it all. So I'm trying to not not add more. <laughs> but you know, we could make uh, some kind of like towny home or something. Um, at some point, uh, we do have a lot of townies. There's a lot when you look in Simpe. There's a lot of Sims in this in this save. But here's a fun thing. Over in the uh, I forgot to show that. Okay, so let's just go here real quick. <laughs> Luckily, these loading screens are not too slow. She said as it's got stuck. Up here on the hill, we have the prison where I put everyone that fights <laughs> publicly. <laughs> they get sentenced and we put them in here. This is this is just the uh, intendant, but these these three here, Bruce, Professor Carla, and Sandy Broody, they are in prison. But Benjamin Long was used to be in charge of the prison, but he and an inmate actually ran away. <laughs> It's just pretend, but they fell in love, and so I had them run away and live all the way over here in the forest. It's Benjamin Long and Andrea Long. They got married here in the forest by themselves, and they don't have much because they're living in the wilderness. They have a toilet because I couldn't stand them peeing themselves all the time. There's no pee bush in The Sims 2, I think. But they're trying to uh, garden and they have a little tent and everything and they, they stay hidden over here and at some point they might get caught or they might not get caught. They might like start a whole clan over here. I don't know. <laughs> at some point people will maybe stop looking. Okay and here, ha here we have Caliente. So okay. Nina Caliente, she is a romance sim, and she, so she fell victim to my new rule about the romance sim, and she feared to get married to Amin sims, so they are now engaged and they live together, and next time I play her, she is gonna get married to him. Um. Here's the orphanage where I put townies in. <laughs> so that if someone wants to adopt a kid, they can go here and adopt them. Uh, we also have, uh, yeah. Little Emil in there. Uh, nobody in the game knows who he is, but it's actually Nina Caliente had a son and gave him up. Uh, but. I'm pretending none of the sims know. <laughs> so he's just some orphan kid. Um, what else? We already did you and you and you and you. Okay, here's a traveler household. I don't play them either. I kind of just use this house when I need to make townies out of people. Um, so unless someone starts interacting with these sims, nothing will happen with them. They have three dogs for some reason, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, same with the Automus family, I haven't moved them into gameplay either. Nobody knows them, they, they're just sort of here. Uh, this is the formerly known as the Brogue family. But since Dustin broke, um, like inherited the name and everything, and Brandy remarried and is now 
Brandy Sartor because she married Cory over here. This is now the Sartor family. Uh, but Skip Jr. broke. Uh, still lives here. This is the baby she is pregnant with when the game starts. That's Skip Jr. I named her. I named him after her father. That is dead. <laughs> and little Bob the third, named after Bob Newson. N no, Bob Newby. Uh, not pancakes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's everybody. And I can never find the goth house. Here it is. There's also this, like, big mansion over here that costs, like, 239,000 uh, simoleons to buy. And uh, so far, no one, like, I think the goths might be able to buy it. But they live here, and they don't have a desire to move. So... <laughs> I don't think Mary Sue will adopt a kid though, because... I only do that if they want a kid, or if their lifetime want... Is... Something that requires kids. And uh, she doesn't have that, she wants six pets to reach the the top of the career so she's focusing on that malcolm will uh remarry when she, once he's gone she's gone um because she was she will obviously die before him <laughs> all right okay uh is the kids coming home from school now Let's hope the the homework works because sometimes they just sort of disappear. He got an A plus report card, I think, and he wants to be friends with Lisa and learn couples counseling. Isn't that kind of weird for a kid? <laughs> so Davis is uh, eight years old. That mansion should be a be a pool because it looks like an Italian pool. You mean uh, like, oh, oh, the the homework didn't work. Oh, I'm sad. Oh well, I think he has jump jump bugged <laughs> and then lost his homework. And you, what is happening? How are you going to learn how to? make homework if you don't have any homeworks yeah we could make it in a into a community lot I think and then you could go there and like have a swim I'm sad about the homework I don't know how to I don't know if there's a way, I was trying to google that before, um, if there's a way to spawn ho homework for them. Um, or if there's a mod or something that lets you buy homework that actually punishes you if you don't do them, because... Actually, we could try that, like, it couldn't hurt. Hmm, where is it? Where did I put that? I have... I have a mod of some kind. It looks like this, but it's not this. It's by Inge Jones. And... I think, like, here's the prison mod things. But I'm, I'm not using the prison mod anymore because it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. I might do it again sometime. Maybe I don't have the school mod installed, I don't remember. I'll look for it at some point. Well. I wanna... The 
It should be on the tables. There is this creator. Oh my goodness. This is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, no, not this. Sim logical. The so Sims 2. Wait, does he have Pro Sims 4? No. Huh. Okay. So there's some school institution school page. There's this table we could do homework on. Classroom table and workbook. This is not the same as the homework table. This is a completely separate object to work with the classroom controller. Okay. Where's the homework table then? <laughs> uh, where can I get to that? Because I think that might be what we want. Oh my goodness. Homework table and workbook. Hmm. Click on the table correct work for it. Then when the work is made, the child should come over and start doing it. If she doesn't seem keen, blah, blah. I don't know if I, ha I don't think I have this. So, okay, let's, let's try and restart the game because I don't, I really don't like, this is the second time it happened for these kids. And when it happens <laughs> it means like the game thinks they made their homework um and it gives them a's like for no effort and i do not like it so i will um I will try and create homework for them and the wor worst thing that can happen with this is like they don't, uh, it doesn't affect their grades They and they still get A's but uh, at least then they did their homework. <sighs> Wait, is this the homework that actually increases their grades? I don't like that either. Hmm. Problems! <laughs> His school grades goes up by four points. But I just wanted to create the, t the schoolwork for them. I don't want, want it to like increase it. This is why I haven't done it so far. I get kind of huh. well. I think we just just gonna have to live with the fact that they don't do homework in this household. 
I don't have this problem with everyone. Uh, it's just with some of them. It's very weird. It started happening when they got into private school, I think. Wait, who's in private school? He's not in private school. He still had it happen. Well, well now I gotta... In case she gives birth, I need to do the thing with the thing, with the stuff. Not new fix. <laughs> because if I don't do this, we will have a clone or on our hands if uh, Cassandra gives birth, and we don't want that. Spawn homework. No, I actually want to buy homework. I don't know. That thread is about someone cannot find it. Missing homework. Uh, so annoying. <laughs> Maybe it's possible to mod that, uh, like change the mod, the schoolwork, homework thingy, so that it doesn't increase the grades when you finish it. Because oh well, L let's just give these children a pass because they're like part of the richest household in uh, in Pleasant View if you don't count the land grabs I guess wait how many sims do we have one two three four five six seven well, that's good. Then this can't be twins. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So what happened was when the children got home from school, they took their homework. They went like over here and then they there was a jump bug and they there is no homework. So that means they are automatically getting A's without doing homework and I don't like it because I, I think they should like here's a homework there's some homework but these boys don't have homework in their room <laughs> uh, so, so when you go to school after not making homework just make them not do their homework for, for a while, but they don't have homework. And if you delete the homework, then the game thinks the homework is done and they get A's. But they don't get homework because they jump bug and it disappears. So, unless it's down here, but it's not. Um, so they go to school, they didn't do any homework. And they still get A's because there are no homework left. Does that make sense? <laughs> do you have the Sim Blender? Yes, I do. Is this the Sim Blender? It is. Can I get homework here? Uh, somewhere? Misc? No? Scales? No, <laughs> can't remember which one it is, but 
with either of them you can change the grades. Yeah, but how would I know what to change it to? Because they didn't have the opportunity to do homework. So should they their grades increase or not? Like, I'm having issues. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could change it, but then that's not fair to them. They did not do their homework because there was no homework to do. I want homework for them to do. That That's all I'm trying to solve. So that if they do their homework, they get good grades, and if they don't do their homework, they get bad grades. But as it is now, they get good grades no matter what. So, yeah, that's not good. Oh, wait. He was supposed to reclaim this door. And this is his homework. Okay. I would change it to a B so you can make them do homework to get back up to an A. Oh, you mean so every, every day I decrease their grades one level? And then I spawn the homework with that table so they can get it back up. Um, I think this is it. Well, we could do that. I think that will do the fair thing because then we'll say that they did homework but they didn't get an A. Yeah. All right, so who he's still in school. No, he is. Wait, is this also your homework? How is this also your homework? That doesn't make sense. Well, I'm putting it in your room then. Well, he hasn't been doing his homework at all. <laughs> so like his grade is going down. Okay, so then we'll try here with Lester. So it's said on the web page that it will. Where is the symbol under there? So where is it then? Do I need something else, perhaps? Because I don't. I only have the symbol under. Maybe testing sheets will... It might be the same manipulator. Yeah, and I don't have that right now. Wait, what is this? Can I spawn homework? That would be awesome. I don't think... So, though, no, uh, the sim blender has like for for adults, you can go into the sim blender. Um, And go into where is it? Careers, and then you can do a set level. But if you're a child, I don't see that. Ah, <laughs> well, maybe there is some way to do it. If you make them write in the diary, you can pretend them doing that is doing homework. Yeah. 
we could do something like that. You know what we could do? Um, but but there's no way to 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 decrease their grades. <laughs> That's the issue. Um, well, okay. Since he's already at an A, I will like we can create work for Lester. And it appears over here, right? So we could put it over here. And he now, oops, what happened? <laughs> he now has to do this. Like he can't get more than an A. Oh, but <laughs> uh, what is that mod? the table yeah uh it is the thing wait where is my browser it's the sim logical uh homework table <laughs> this is uh i'd use i used to swear by this website when i back in the day you know i had like almost every mod on here it's simlogical.com. It's uh, Inge Jones. He has a lot of mods. Um, so here's the teleporting bush, <laughs> for instance. <laughs> so I use the teleporting. But you can go there. <laughs> and you can just browse around. It, there's a lot of good things on there. I used to really. Uh, enjoy playing prison <laughs> so there's a whole prison page over here with stuff and things thank you for that follow um, my main issue with the prison is uh, sometimes the prisoners escape and I don't like it <laughs> but it's a fun mod so uh, go here and like browse around. There's, there's, there's a lot. What's this? Apartment fixes. Okay. Well. So, my Sims only do their homework if they have the want to do their homework, and he doesn't have that. So, I mean, can we like ask for no? This doesn't really create real homework though. They, it creates some kind of schoolwork. <laughs> so it's not really a homework table. Gosh darn it, so he can't ask for homework help. Look, it doesn't work. We can clear it away. It doesn't do what I want. Oh no. I always give a follow when the streamer is as, don't know in English word, nice, enjoyable, you know, make you feel happy and nice. Oh, you make me feel happy and nice inside. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna live on that the rest of the day. And I feel sad because like in half an hour I have to go and eat lunch. And then I'm going to go uh, exercise for my knee because it's broken. But I don't want to do that now. <laughs> I want to stay here. Anyway, I, I think I'm just gonna... Like, I was going to, to uh, like, require them to get a skill point. And if they get a skill point, that's them making their homework. But I don't know how to decrease the grades. <laughs> Good luck with exercising. Thank you. Um, I really need it because I haven't done my exercises, so maybe I will not do so well. He wants to be friends with Lisa, so I'm gonna take that as it's okay for him to join her at playing. What he could do is he could... Like, oh, Cassandra's going to die. <laughs> she needs to eat again. Uh, get leftovers. 
He could, like, do uh, Cornelius' homework and ask for homework help. Where are you from? I'm from Norway, so the time here is uh, 11.25. Yeah, same. I'm from Sweden. So the, the time is the same here. I'm on Stockholm time. <laughs> And get well soon with your knee, uh, as long as you do bad or average exercising for your knee, it's better than no exercising. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it, it's been, it's way better, like at New Year's, I couldn't even use it at all. Uh, everyone aged. There we go, so Darren is now 57, Cassandra is 46. Cornelius is 13, apparently, according to my spreadsheet. He, he's been a teen since the day before, so it's weird. Okay, <laughs> Lester is 10, uh, and Davis and Delmar is 9, and Seth is 4. And he, we could have a birthday party for him... Not now. What? Oh. No, because there's two days left until he he grows up. I love Sweden, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's so beautiful. Never been to Stockholm. Oh, uh, I'm not in Stockholm. I'm just on Stockholm time. <laughs> I mean, that's there was. <laughs> when visiting a friend a couple of years ago. Right side, outside it. Yeah, I uh, grew up in a really small town outside of... What happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh my goodness! Uh... Look now, is that... Is this our butler? Did he just turn into <laughs> an elder? Uh, I think so. This means though... We need to note this. Look, night. Because I don't think I had him from before, did I? No. Uh, because this means that we have an extra towny elder. So that means I have to kill someone. <laughs> Because otherwise the number of towny elders increase and I we, we cannot have that so he is I guess he's 55 now because he is an elder He just turned elder and that's the age you do um, Okay, how many days Is it still Wednesday? It was Wednesday when I started the stream. <laughs> it's still Wednesday. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, okay. So, uh, <laughs> Tony, yeah, there's a mod. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I don't remember what mod it is, but I have, I have so many mods. There is some mod that makes Townies age up um, so if they're on the lot when it turns six o'clock they age up one one day uh, so that th this is how that happened <laughs> I don't remember now I think I have it on my website listed so we just go to wani.se oh, here you go Mods. And I don't know, it doesn't seem to be listed, but it's probably listed at Pleasant Sims. <laughs> Towny. NPC aging, here it is. This is what I have. Oh, 
well, that didn't really <laughs> explain anything. <laughs> but it, it's right here. NPC sims on the active lot will age up one day at 6 p.m. But only if they are on the active lot does not impact playables. So... Oh yeah, <laughs> I've tried to, like, I think this is a really good idea that Pleasant Sims listed all the mods. So I tried to do the same, but obviously I linked her her page because uh, I, I don't have everything listed. But I'm thinking like maybe sometimes, sometime in the future, God forbid, her website will not be there anymore. So I want to have like at least the most important ones listed. Uh, we've got a lot of Pleasant Sims mods, but not everything yet. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> she, she has been uh, busy. <laughs> oh, this is, is the comments, but uh, it looked like a really long page. Um, anyways, so... And a thing, if you keep aging townies up, like, you know, when you age up, you can choose to age someone up with you. Uh, if you keep doing that, um, no one, the townies will not die. <laughs> so you will end up with a game where like 80% of all the townies are elders and it's not fun. So uh, since we, uh, we need to keep track of this somehow. I'll just make him red. I will rem remember how to stream and do something. There we go. And uh, that number should be a five. Yes. There. It's good now. So uh, that means like to avoid that I end up with so many townies. Then if someone, some townie ages up into a, a an elder, that means I will go to the retirement home later and someone will unfortunately die. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna play them until someone die or if I'm just gonna cheat. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways. Wait. Is he selectable? Why is he so? Why is he selected? Oh my goodness! He want, he has a lot of wants. How did this happen? What did I do? I didn't do this, did I? Make unselectable all visitors. Why are you a part of my family? What happened? <laughs> Wait! You can't do that. You there's no room for you. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and Cassandra is pregnant. We can't. What is that? What happened? <laughs> I don't understand how this happened. <laughs> he somehow turned selectable. I don't know. But he's not part of the family, so I could just make him unselectable again. And it's fine, I hope. Got me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe the mod like temporarily moves them in when they age up and didn't manage to move him out again. Maybe. Oh my goodness, the phone is ringing. And Cassandra is asleep in the food. That's the safest place for a pregnant Sims to be, asleep in the food. <laughs> You should always be asleep in the food <laughs> because like if she is if she wakes up because <laughs> because she's about to die then she has food in front of her she can just eat uh hey Dalmar is Cassandra available to talk sure <laughs> she was going to answer that what are you doing Okay, my game is now officially uh, <laughs> so broken. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, she can just sleep there, I guess. Okay. 
goodness. Everything. Wake up. I keep forgetting, you have to click them and, and uh, select to wake, wake them up, unlike the other games. <laughs> well, uh, if you want to go look at my website, um, here it is. Because uh, for some reason I chose that. <laughs> that was the name, Wani was the name of my world of warcraft character so i named the website after her but it's really hard to um convey what the name of the website is because luani is not a really common word <laughs> or anything <laughs> so that wasn't so smart when choosing a domain choose something better <laughs> Oh goodness, the child, the child is screaming. Um, where's, when is Darren coming home? Don't we have a nanny? What is happening? Ah, okay, you can stop that and take care of the phone maybe? Yeah, it's, you like the name? Oh my goodness, what are you doing now? Oh, <laughs> she had to pee. <laughs> I really liked it. Uh, the way I picked it is like, I was like, okay, I need a name for my night elf. So, what are letters that I like? I like L, I like W, A, N, Y. Oh, I. I. So, I just put them together. <laughs> and there it was. Um, I might have switched them around a bit, but it, it was something like that, like almost in the in the order I, I like wrote them down. The, these are the letters that I want the name to have. <laughs> but Nipt, don't go to... Okay, she's dead tired, so she's going to bed, even though the child is crying. Well, we do have Cornelius here. He could make himself useful. And he wants to go to college, so that means that he wants to do his homework, actually. But that kid wanted to... Oh my goodness. He can do those homeworks. And then, who was it? This kid wants to ask for homework help. Oh no, he can't do it. Why is there no actions available? <laughs> oh no, can you do it? No. Why not? It's just regular homework. What is happening? Is it because it's not in his room? Nope. He's not allowed to do it. That's weird. It is kids homework. We can clearly see there's a gnome on it. <laughs> so he should be able to. Uh, I don't know. You made your eyes. Uh, yes, I did. These eyes. Uh, it was a long time ago and I do believe I followed a tutorial uh, how to do it in Photoshop. You like you just made the colors and then you you just used functions basically that swiped them across the, the the image and then did the made them round and everything. It was really cool. I can't redo it because I don't have Photoshop anymore. <laughs> but I did do them. Oh, thank God, Darren's home. Oh, he's dead tired too. Thanks. I um, I wanted them to be really colorful uh, and like high contrast. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> not nice. Uh, well, so that was the the goal with that, and I cannot play with the default eyes. The they are so these are default replacements. The default eyes look too 
faded to me. So, but there are there are better eyes out there. It's just like I made these, so I have an emotional attachment to them. <laughs> so, and I think they they fit. What are you doing? Okay, did you do your homework? No. He did not do his homework. Why don't you do your homework? That's weird. What is wrong with everything? <laughs> it's right there. Just pick it up. What is... I don't know. I did install some kind of... Sai John had like a desk fix mod because I had this jump bug. I thought that would help with that, but it doesn't seem to be helping with that like at all. Why? Why did you stop? What is wrong with this desk? Nothing wrong with this desk. That's so weird. Okay. Oh, you put it there. Okay. Yeah, he needs fun. <sighs> well, I'm getting... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting anxious because I am... Uh, I need to go very soon. Uh, and I'm going in my mind will i have time to eat and everything so i think i am actually going to end this stream now but it has been really nice hanging out with you guys and i wish i could stay i wish the day had more hours but it doesn't so uh i hope i'll see you another day uh, in, soon in the future <laughs> and uh have a nice day to you too Bye now.